Hi guys, Damon here. So last time out, uh, if you recall, we cooked black pepper beef. And the reason we cooked black pepper beef was because I posted a picture of that particular dish on my social media accounts a few weeks back and uh, it received incredibly positive feedback, lots of requests for the recipe. So we cooked it. I've kind of gone and done it again. Uh, last week I posted this picture of my crispy fried pork and sweet and sour sauce to my social media channels and it's kind of blown up a little bit in terms of the amount of requests I've received for the recipe. So being a man of the people, um, I bring you the recipe. So today we are cooking uh, crispy fried pork in sweet and sour sauce. Um, it's not a complex uh, dish, very, very simple to do. It takes a little bit of patience in the preparation, so we're gonna break it down into four stages. The first stage is to marinate our meat. The second stage is to uh, prepare our meat for frying and to actually fry it up. The third stage is to create our absolutely wonderful uh, sweet and sour sauce. And the fourth stage is the big finish. It's just bringing everything together to create the final dish. So with all that ahead of us, uh, we best crack on. Let's get our meat marinated. For today, I will be using pork. Um, this dish works brilliantly with uh, chicken thigh as well. Those are the two meats I recommend, either pork or chicken thigh. Super, super simple marinade uh, for this. Uh, what we have is one large clove of garlic, which I have crushed. That goes in with our pork. Next up is a tablespoon of light soy sauce. As I always say, if you can't find light soy sauce uh, specifically, just use standard soy sauce, but one tablespoon. Finally, grab your pepper mill, uh, black peppercorns, good twist of black pepper, probably about half to a teaspoon, no more than that. Final step is to grab your spoon, give this all a stir, make sure everything's all mixed together. Um, really looking forward to this because my pork is gonna be super tender tonight because I have velveted it. And if you don't know what velveting is, uh, there will be a link floating above my head somewhere here to a video I have produced which teaches you how to velvet your meat. Okay, so my pork is nicely coated in its marinade. Uh, so all that remains is to put this bad boy in the fridge for 30 minutes while uh, you prepare your other ingredients, which is exactly what I'm going to do too. Okay, so our pork has finished marinating. Uh, we now need to get it ready for frying. So first things first, I am starting to warm up some oil in my wok. I'm using two tablespoons of coconut oil. You can use whichever oil you prefer. I would recommend if you haven't got coconut oil, probably something like groundnut oil uh, or vegetable oil will probably work absolutely fine. Uh, to prepare our pork for frying, we're going to add 50 grams of plain flour and get it nicely coated. Okay, so I have velveted my pork, I have now marinated my pork, and I have floured my pork, I guess, and that's what it looks like, not that, that means much to you. It's pork coated in flour, but it's gonna look amazing in a minute because we're gonna add this to our wok and turn this into crispy pork. Um, before we do so, it's worth mentioning that you should probably get a bowl or a tray ready. I've got my little tray here to one side. Um, put some kitchen towel in it because that'll help soak off any excess oil. Uh, my wok is smoking nicely, which means we now need to add the pork to the wok. In terms of how we're gonna cook it, we're gonna be adding a few pieces at a time keeping them turning uh, pretty pretty constantly until it, they take a lovely light brown color, uh, at which point we'll then transfer those pieces to the tray and rinse repeat until we've cooked all our pork. So that's what I'm gonna do now. I'll see you on the other side. Okay, so having fried up all our pork, I'm left with this tray of beautiful golden piggy nuggies. Look at these, these are great. Um, and obviously as, as a responsible chef, one should probably at least try a piece to make sure one isn't serving his guests undercooked meat. Um, but do try and leave a few for the, uh, the final step, won't you? For now, anything you don't eat of this, which you shouldn't be eating, uh, set it all to one side because we're now gonna focus on our sauce. Okay, so our pork's prepared. Uh, next step is our sauce. This is an absolutely awesome sweet and sour sauce. It will really bring this dish together. Uh, I've also taken this opportunity to put my rice on, um, and I suggest if you're having rice with yours, now's a good time to do so too. Okay, uh, pan for our sauce. I've already got the pan on. No oil, nothing. Uh, moderate to high heat, just let that warm up. 
The first thing we're going to be adding to our pan is 100 grams of brown sugar. Next ingredient to be added straight away is three tablespoons of rice wine vinegar. Now, if you can't find rice wine vinegar, I would recommend either cider vinegar or straight white wine vinegar. The next ingredient, again, to be added straight away, I'm gonna be very, very, very unapologetic about this, is two tablespoons of tomato ketchup. It is what it is. And I didn't even use a brand one. Next ingredient, again, straight in, is one tablespoon of light soy sauce. Again, if you can't get light soy sauce, just use standard soy sauce. Next, add 80 milliliters of pineapple juice. And the last ingredient for this stage is a quarter of a teaspoon of Chinese five spice. Okay, so give your pan a good stir through to combine everything and then bring the pan to a simmer uh, for a, probably about five minutes or until the sugar has properly dissolved into the sauce. Okay, so I've simmered this sauce for five minutes now. Uh, there's one more thing to add, which is uh, two teaspoons of corn flour, to which I've added two tablespoons of water, uh, just stirred to combine the two. This is gonna be our thickening agent. So add this to your pan. Stir in and leave this to simmer for a further two minutes. Okay, so uh, simmer this for a further two minutes. I've taken off the heat now. You can already see, look at this, look how lovely and thick this sweet and sour sauce is. Um, that's all it needs for now. Uh, set it to one side. You'll need it again very shortly. All right, guys, home stretch. Last stage. Well done for making it this far. Uh, quick and easy from here on in. So um, I walked back on the hob. I've got about half a tablespoon of oil in there. Again, I prefer coconut oil. Use whichever oil you prefer. The first ingredient we're gonna add to our wok is this uh, medium to large white onion that I have cut into two and a half to three centimeter chunks. Now you wanna keep this onion moving around your wok for probably about a minute or so until it just starts to go translucent. Okay, so that's been about a minute. Uh, all my individual pieces of onion have separated out and the smaller pieces are just starting to go translucent. Perfect. So next ingredient is uh, one green bell pepper, again, that I've cut into reasonable sized chunks. You want to be stirring this through with your onion for no more than about 30 seconds or so to make sure that your pepper stays nice and crisp. Okay, so that's done. So now's the really fun part. To our onion and pepper, we're going to add back in our pork. Do you remember these guys? They're going in now. Just give those a quick stir, and then we're going to be adding back in our beautiful sweet and sour sauce. Give that a quick stir through to combine everything, to allow all your onions, all your peppers, all your pork to get a good coating of that sweet and sour sauce. And the final thing I'm gonna be adding to my sweet and sour tonight is some cherry tomatoes. Uh, I've quartered eight cherry tomatoes here, but obviously you can adjust your preference. So I'm just gonna keep this stirring. I'm gonna warm everything back through. Um, it's worth mentioning that it's at this stage you can add any uh, other bits and pieces you, uh, you might want in your sweet and sour. So some people like pineapple, stick some pineapple in there. Mango goes great in this. Uh, similarly, if you want any additional veg, such as monge too, maybe baby sweet corn, add these now. Alrighty then, so I'm gonna cool this. I think this is ready to be dished up. Let me see if I can give you guys a better shot of what we're dealing with here. Look at this. This is sweet and sour crispy pork. Beautiful. Uh, 
I'll give you another better look at it in a minute once it's plated up. Cheers. Et voila, my crispy pork sweet and sour. Um, I really hope you guys enjoy cooking it. It's a fun experience. I really hope you guys enjoy eating it. That's an even funner experience. Um, I really enjoy making these videos for you guys. So please hit the subscribe button, give me a like, share with your friends, do all that normal YouTube stuff. Um, and I really, really look forward to hopefully seeing you again in the future for yet another What's Going On. Cheers, bye.